What is up guys, using Yang here, and uh, this is tutorial number 52, and it's going to be over this TV transition effect, and you don't need to use it for transition, um, but it looks pretty cool. And, um, the, a few updates, um, I'm going to start making, like, motion tracks and cinematics that you guys can download and use, because I often find it that I don't have any cinematics or motion tracks to use, so I think it would be nice to help you guys out with that too. And uh, I got kicked from BCT, me and two other editors, and we don't know why yet. So I'll try to keep you updated on that if you haven't seen my bulletin. And yeah, so right now I'm a free agent, uh, preferably an editor, because I like editing. And um, my weekly edits contest should be out either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But um, here's a nice tutorial that'll keep the flow going in your edit. I like it because it's really quick and you just... I don't know. It's really quick and it flows really well. So, um, what you're gonna want to have, I guess I'm just gonna, like, yeah, jump right into it. What you're gonna want to have is two overlapping clips. Uh, I'll delete the opacity stuff. We'll start from scratch. So, uh, when you bring them in, they'll both be at 100 opacity. You want to find the place that you want it to start. So, right after, uh, like right here, this guy just hits a triple collat hardcore cod four. That rhymes. And we're gonna start the transition here where this marker is. So go to T on your keyboard for clip one, pass it to 100, go forward, actually, go forward 30 frames, and bring it to zero. And then here on the second clip, go bring it to 100 on where this is zero. You're pretty much gonna inverse these keyframes. Key and then I'll bring this at zero. So it fades in like that. The only problem with these two clips are this clip is twixtered and this clip is uh, he's like spinning his ass off. So um, uh, what you're gonna want to have for this tutorial to like make it I, I don't know have the effects flow better is you're gonna want this second clip to be twixtered. But if I twixter it while he's in midair spinning, it won't look too good. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at this for now because it doesn't look that bad. Um, we're gonna now, once we set all that up, we're gonna go layer, new adjustment layer, and drag this below our CC. I don't know, I just like everything below my CC. Rename this CC and name this uh, transition. So uh, now we'll split the layer here, go forward 30 frames, split it here. And we're going to want to add a few effects onto this now. We're going to want to add wave warp. And drag that on. We're going to want to have noise. Noise and drain noise. And I'm going to put bring the noise at 6. And we're going to want to have turbulent displace. Bring that on. So here, we're going to want to have the wave width at about 500-ish. And we're going to want to have, instead of sine, we're going to have, want to have noise and change the direction to zero. So it's more like a TV effect. And bring the height to about, well, actually in the middle it's going to be about 50. So we can start off at zero. And also, this also works with a smooth noise and square also looks pretty cool. Um, I Not a lot of people use it with square, so <coughs> you might need to switch around the numbers though. So change the wave speed to 2 and we'll actually yeah change the 2 I guess and while we do that is I'll show you in a sec uh, go forward 15 frames bring the wave height to 60 go forward another 15 frames bring it back to 0 so what the wave uh, speed does is that it moves the black noise stuff so it animates it and it looks really cool. And now we've finished with our wave warp. We don't really need to do much else. Um, make sure you keep the direction at zero, wave width 500, and you only keyframe the height. And the noise are good at six. Just keep it at six. It looks pretty good. Uh, and you don't want to like make it like 40 because if you do that and then the adjustment layer just pops up like that, it doesn't look too good. So you want to keep it subtle. And then turbulent displace, put it at about zero. 
size at 100, that's all good. We're going to keyframe the evolution and the amount. So go forward 15 frames again, bring the amount to 60, and go forward another 15 frames, bring the amount to 0, and the evolution up to 1. So now, actually, I'm going to bring it to drag this over. Split. So now, if we run preview, he scopes in, he's looking, oh, baby, a triple, and, and then it. Yeah, so we just remade that effect um, real quick in a couple minutes. So, um,. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please leave a like. It helps motivate me and uh, leave some feedback about what you think about this making cinematics and uh, motion tracks and giving it to you guys. I think it would be something pretty successful, but uh, if you think different, just comment, I guess. So, uh, this has been Using AE. I hope you guys this tutorial. I hope you guys this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm out. Peace.